Hello everyone, welcome to my nature diaries. Today I'm going to be putting in some birds and these are little black cap chickadees that we have here locally and we have a park that's nearby and it's a bird sanctuary and you can feed birds out of your hand. And these are one of the birds that I have fed and I was able to get the video that you saw and I'm going to go ahead and put fill in this space over here with a bird today. Here's a still of one of the images that I already drew in my spread for today. And I want to use another one, but I don't have that many different angles. So going to Pixabay, which is a free image site, I'm going to just look for another picture of a black capped chickadee. And I really like this one and its position. So I'm going to go ahead and use this image as the fourth one. And I'm just using a an HB pencil here and I'm going to go ahead and roughly draw this in. So I have roughly made an armature or the shape or position of the bird. Roughly I'm sketching in the head, slowly filling in that body shape. You want to really study that reference photo and try to just duplicate it as much as possible and then just going in and filling in the rest of the features just making a bit of a grid for the head to show where the beak and the eye placement is going. And so I'm just kind of forming a an orbital kind of uh, graph. And you can see I'm putting in the eye and the beak. And now I'm just putting in the markings for the black capped chickadee as well. Roughly putting in the feet. And of course, when you use a pencil like this, and it's so soft, but I do it on purpose because I will probably erase things and I don't need anything super dark. Now I'm just putting in the wing shape and again just roughly filling in those feathers and how they look and this is all just to give us a really good idea of where we want to place everything. After I finish this sketch I'm going to just go ahead and use a micron as you can see and go over it just briefly so you can just see the picture of the bird a little bit better so it'll show up on camera for you. But you can make adjustments all along the way and that's what I do at least. I tweak things and I keep looking at that reference photo. It's so important because I wanna make sure I get the proportions and the overall shape of the bird really on track with how it looks. I'm adding just a few more details with the feathers for you, but of course I would tweak this even further if I were going to just make it a regular drawing or illustration but I just wanted you to kind of get an idea of what it would look like as a bit of a sketch. And that's really it. Moving on with a snap size 12 brush. I've already had the image as you can see in my journal and just taking some water, I wet the page and now I'm going in with cerulean blue and then I'm gonna use a little bit of alizarin crimson. Just give me a bit of a background to help just to stage the bird in itself. Starting with yellow ochre, I am going to just go ahead and just add my layers a little bit at a time. And I'm switching to a number six snap brush. I'm using a pain gray, cerulean blue. It's just kind of a little bit of a mix to work on the head colors for this bird. And I will be adding more layers and, and darkening and, and making everything a little bit more saturated as we go. I've switched once more to a really fine brush and you can do that as well if you want. And I'm just adding some more shadows, details, layers, and taking my time because this paper will pill if I add too much water at once. And I'm just loosely adding in some definition to the, to the uh, feathers and I'll blend those things out. I just keep going back and forth. I let areas dry and then I work on another area and then let that dry. But that's generally how I like to work and this paper does dry fairly quickly, so that helps out a lot. I'm finishing up with the leg of the bird and I'm just putting a very light outline and I'm going to ink in the rest of the details here, but I wanted to at least get that started. Using a dip pen or you could use a micron, I'm putting in some more details and just defining a few areas. It's up to you if you want to do this step, but I really like, again, to add ink to watercolor. And I'm also leaving the branch and other details. I'm not going to uh, color those in. I want the bird to be the star of this layout and spread. 
Now it's time to go ahead and add some details about the bird and I like to get a lot of my information again online from a website called All About Birds and then I usually fill in with other information and observations that I have when I um, interact with any of these birds or in nature, I really like to add my personal touch to every entry in my nature journal. I'd like to take a moment and invite you to subscribe to My Nature Diaries, this YouTube channel, and be a part of this family as we learn how to draw, do art, and of course, nature journal together. And also, please click like if you enjoyed this content and comment if this tutorial helped you at all or if you have some hints that could help somebody else learn how to draw birds. As we wrap up today's video, I'd love to hear from you if you have ever been able to feed a bird from your hand. I got to do it several times now and it's always so amazing and hopefully I was able to capture a little bit of the pleasure of these birds, these little black capped chickadees in my nature diary and yeah, I, I would love to do it again. Let me know if that's something that is on your bucket list, at least for nature journaling, is to feed birds in this way. You are amazing and creative. And I really truly hope that you are nature journaling or have a nature diary and are making some kind of art because the world needs to see your creativity and see the world the way that you see it. And until we meet again in the next video. I hope that you have a great week. So take care. Bye.